Hi, in this video we're going to explore Spotlight, which is your computer's search tool. In the top right corner of your screen, you'll see this small picture of a magnifying glass. If you click on that, it'll open Spotlight for you, and then you can type in anything in this field, and it will search your entire computer instantly for that term. To make it easy, let's learn the keyboard shortcut. When you're typing away doing something else, like surfing the web or whatever, and then you need to search for something in Spotlight, instead of moving your cursor to the top right corner of the screen and clicking on this magnifying glass, you can use the keyboard shortcut, which is hold down the command button on your keyboard and tap the space bar. As soon as you do command space bar, it's going to open up Spotlight. And then you can start searching. So let's search for my friend John Smith. Notice as I type it in, it automatically updates the search results. And then it settles on just the ones that actually include John Smith, and it categorizes them for me. One, I have a dictionary entry here, a definition for John Smith, who lived 100 million years ago. I also have a search result for my contact, my, my friend, John Smith. Uh, and automatically, the top hit's going to be the one highlighted, so I can hit Return on my keyboard, and it's going to open up my address book and show me my friend John Smith and all of his contact information. I will close address book and do command spacebar to open up the spotlight window again. Now even though that John Smith is selected in blue, I can start typing for something else and it's going to instantly show me my results. For example, I wanted to open up my, uh, my photography program called Aperture, but Aperture is not on my dock at the bottom of the screen. So I know where Aperture is stored on my computer, but it's often much faster instead of going through my finder and going to my applications folder and then finding Aperture. Instead, I just hit command space, type in Aperture, and hit return, and it opens up my program, which was the top hit uh, of the search results. Great. I'm going to close Aperture again because I don't actually want to use that. Uh, another great example, let's do London. Okay. Uh, it'll open up a dictionary entry. I just hit return on my keyboard to open it, and I can browse through dictionary entries. Spotlight is also tremendously useful for doing math. You can type in virtually any kind of equation in the uh, search field there, and it's going to automatically show your results. 2 plus 2 equals 4. And of course, you could enter much more complicated formulas, and it'll still give you a nice, neat uh, answer right there in your search results. Spotlight also searches inside documents, so if you forgot what you titled a document, but you remember that you used the word abrasive in that document, then you could just search for abrasive here in Spotlight, and it would show you uh, anything that had that word inside the document. In this case, I only have a dictionary entry. What about if we search for Bob? What do you know? I have a letter that I've written to Bob. I can open that up, and it searched. Hi, Bob. It's been such a long time. So, click on the magnifying glass, or press Command Space Bar on your keyboard, and type in anything you want. It's going to search your entire computer instantly for it. You can also use it for dictionary entries, websites, PDFs, music, math, anything you want. Make great use of Spotlight. It'll save you lots of time.